Hello and welcome to Tara's Daily Insight. My name is Mitchell and it is Friday, April the 12th, 2013. And I want to go ahead and set the intention for you and for me that we would receive healing, guidance, and confirmation, and a better connection to our higher self and uh, source just by watching and listening to this video. I also want to set the intention that we would resonate, operate, and vibrate in the highest possible frequency of divine love that we can and that we would be in alignment and harmony with our true and authentic self. So with all that being said, let me dive right in. Appreciate your feedback yesterday about the open door, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Spirit's already given me some directions of which way to take that and how to do it. Uh, today, it's just going to be like it was yesterday, but tomorrow when I have more time, there will be some changes. You'll see them. So our card today is our emperor. So I will go ahead and, oh, excuse me bring that emperor card in something got in my eye maybe it's the emperor so uh here we have our emperor and it's a number four um it's the um fifth card in the major arcana uh it's number four because the fool is the zero card so we move from the fool in our journey of enlightenment um, into the magician who has everything for his trip um, into the high priestess who's got all the ability to see into the ultimate mother card the empress and then the emperor so number four very powerful as you can see the red the very fiery the ram's head above um, he is kind of <clears throat> like the ultimate father uh, our kings of, uh, of the, the deck, the minor arcana, are the father figures as well, but they each represent kind of a, a different aspect depending on which element they're in. But this is kind of like the ultimate father. In my readings, this gentleman often will be just a little more domineering and dominating um, simply because of the power of the card and the image that I see. Some decks, he's not quite as um, he's powerful. He has even more of a, almost a religious feel like the Pope and the Hierophant cards do as well. But this guy, he's a pretty tough guy. So um, the card for the day, so let me just, um, the door's open already, I will say that. Um, I opened it before I started the video. But today... This is more about you finding your dynamic and masculine strength and ability. Um, I feel like uh, you'll know who you are, that you've been sitting too much on the feminine side, allowing things to kind of happen. Um, right now, it's time to take some action yourself. Um, it feels mm, it feels a little bit of work, a little bit of family, but kind of just overall in general, your life and the feeling there. So kind of taking that action, as, as you can see, would um, make some really nice changes um, and move you forward into the next card, which is faith. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. So it's going to just drive you through this journey of enlightenment. So get your masculine emperor on today. And don't hesitate, kind of a little bit of a short read for that. And uh, let me just kind of truly open the door and uh, shift a little bit more. <sighs> Getting the image of the chariot, also of a boat. This is, um, and the, the feeling behind it is about speed and intensity. Um, I'm actually hearing some of you be careful as you drive today. Um, watch the speeding. Um, I would highly encourage you. I will set the intention right now that if you venture into speeding, because some of you, I know I, I am very conscious of how fast I'm going. I actually set my car on cruise control when I drive to work just so I stay at a good speed limit and don't get over the speed limit because I also enjoy taking my time. I leave early, make sure I get there in plenty of time which is just years of years of practicing that. But I set the intention for you that if you venture into the possibility of getting a ticket for speeding, that um, one of your angels or guides would just give you a gentle nudge and let you know to slow down, so be aware and pay attention to that. I'm also getting an image of someone baking cookies. Um, a lot of kind of warnings today. Be real careful of the heat of the oven and the cooking um, and um, watch, watch out for like burning yourself or injuring yourself um, in and around there. Especially if you're like watching TV and creating the recipe off the TV. That's where the, the warning came from, so that's a little more specific. Um, so uh, 
that's really about it. I got a flash of TV and, and political stuff, but the door kind of shut, so I'm not even going to go there right now. Uh, I keep looking for that lost video I had the other day because there were some really cool messages in there. If I ever find it, I will post it, but um, I don't know where it is. So thank you for watching today. Not a 10-minute one, but only a 5-minute one today. And uh, tomorrow then uh, I'll shift this video to make it a little more elaborate, which won't take me that much longer, but uh, I already have the plan in my head. I was given that idea. So have a wonderful Friday. Get your emperor on. Be careful speeding, be careful cooking, and a lot of cautions today. Okay, and then what I heard was be mindful, be conscious, be aware of where you are at any moment. If you find yourself like keep bumping into things, that's you're not aware. If you turn a corner and hit the door jam, you're not present. You're you're living around the corner or slightly in the past. So when you find yourself kind of acting out of sorts or running into things, not being aware of what's around you, it's because you're living in the future or the past. So pull yourself right back into the present. Have a wonderful day. Jump to my website if you want to get on the emailing list. Share this video with a friend. Tweet it out. Um, really appreciate you guys. Almost up to about 200 of you. Uh, subscribers and I look forward to the day where I pass that number and get um, over 200 views each day. Talk to you guys tomorrow.